Hello, hi, welcome. Welcome back. It's me, Scorpio Spy. Um, we did Virgo, by the way. Libra. Let's see. Yep, we're going to do Libra. We haven't done Libra. And Uranus is here. What's going on, Libra? Oh my gosh. Okay, so Uranus is coming in here. I do feel like see this is Libra I do feel like there's some sort of shift that's coming in and the thing is about Uranus is it comes in kind of unexpectedly okay um it comes in kind of unexpectedly and causes quite a bit of a a start or like a shake up okay that's what we are talking about today now some of you guys this could have to do with some sort of 11th house business of yours like um people that you associate with or some of you online. All right, so let's see what's going on. Maybe an Aquarius. You, your situation and a person in your environment this week, Libra, that is very strongly in your energies is what we are going to pick up on. For a lot of people that will be love, for others it's something else. Libra, your situation and your person back of the king of pentacles the wheel so you may be dealing with a sagittarius this week or you have one around you they got this card here exactly there and that sagittarius energy there and you have someone with air sign energy page of swords yeah all right what are we looking at so someone is unyielding this week. It looks like there is a shift that we are waiting for to take place. It feels very outside. So between you and this person that we're pulling on this week, there's definitely something that needs to shift here. And until that happens, it looks like people are a little bit withdrawn, may have withdrawn some communications here. Okay. I'm getting the energy of someone not wanting to look you in the eyes or go face to face with you. Let me see what this wheel is about. Why is the wheel here? Maybe you're discussing a Sagittarius this week with someone. Okay, the Two of Swords and the Moon. This is Libra Moon as well. And the Death card backside. This feels like there's energies around you that's pulling you to focus on your feelings right now. Libra, you specifically, okay? And there could be a blockage there. Personally or with this person that we're pulling on. We haven't clarified yet, but we're going to get to that. So... There's a bit of stagnant energy that's going on here and a lot of looming kind of like uncertainty. Even if something has come to an end or it feels like something has ended, there's definitely like a hold up. It's almost like universe is saying, hold on, look at this. Or wait, we're going to switch something here. Okay, let me see about this King of Pentacles. I feel like someone may have been like lying. Yeah, the seven of swords. There's something about someone not telling the truth or someone in your environment this way. It may not even be in the reading for some of you. Let me see about this king of pentacles. The five of swords. Holy cow. Actually, yeah. They also got this here. The Five of Swords, but it's on the back side. So you do have the Five of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. And the back of the Queen of Wands. Libra, this is a pretty intense energy here, okay? It's like there's an opportunity to work together with somebody and you're either withdrawn 
or like you're in a position of power about it. I feel like both actually, but there's something about it that you could actually really stick it to somebody if you wanted to. And I don't know if you are, but I feel like you know this. There's there's an offer here. Hmm. What else is here? Okay, that seven of swords again. Okay. This is really intense, Libra. I feel like you're playing very carefully. Like you're planning your movements and your decisions very carefully here. And there's definitely an aspect of manipulation going on, whether it's on your part or this other person's part or both people are doing that. I feel like because of you not trusting someone here or not believing in someone it's something like that okay not being able to work properly with someone or you feel like this is someone that didn't do their part of the deal you yourself is able to take your power back and strip power away from whoever this is <laughs> that's pretty intense all right let me see about this page of swords let me see it's like someone needs to come at you with a better decision or a better offer at this point. Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and this Magician. Yeah. So this is someone who's kind of feeling like they need to scramble to either keep up to you, catch up to you, or make it up to you in some sense, and they don't, they don't have high hopes about that. They really don't. There's like a problem that needs to be solved and they feel like they don't have the strength or the capacity to deal with it because it is such a heavy weight on this person. It's a burden. Now I'm going to give you a little side note that is not everybody and I don't even know if um, how it's relating, I guess. But this is also someone for some of you as a side note that is kind of being pressed to make a big move or a big change in their personal life, especially if this means like moving their belongings. Okay, something like this. Something is very demanding, back to general. Something is very demanding to this person to have to fix something between you and them, okay? And like I said, you have the capacity to kind of strip their power away here. Like if you wanted to, you could really stick it to them. The thing is, I feel like this is someone who has to make up for something. I'm hearing severe, harsh. Okay, what's that? All right, let me see how you see this person. It's like you want this person to clean up a mess. Um, okay, let me give you kind of like how it's coming off. Like a little scenario here. Okay, apply it however. Five of Swords again. Um, someone did, did something wrong, okay? They did something dirty. Now... You yourself is kind of like, okay, that means I don't have to be overgiving to you because I probably was. Now, let me go ahead and withdraw a bit and let's see if you can make it up to me. Or I'm not going to give to this until you can give me a better reason why I should or I should continue to entertain this relationship here. Because to you right now, this is a halt. And I feel like you're definitely feeling a lack of trust or just the general uncertainty about this person and the situation here. That's kind of what brought this to a screeching halt. This is almost like, how did I not see this? Or how did this person not see this? It's something like that. Okay, how do you see this person? How do you see this person? Libra. You see them as the eight of swords, exactly. 
And I feel like that's pretty accurate in the Two of Swords. Someone here doesn't know what to do at this point. And you know that. This is someone who could be really overthinking stuff, overthinking their position, lacking confidence right now. And you're aware of that too. And we already talked about it. This is someone who's like, I don't have the bravery or the courage or the oomph or the pizzazz, okay? The pizzazz to actually make something happen to heal something here and they're at some sort of crossroads and they're definitely feeling the heat um about this okay and i feel like you are aware of that you see this person is maybe up in their head overthinking things they're really concerned can't figure a way out can't figure a good step or a movement forward here when usually this is someone who is quite very uh, quite very <laughs> who's quite confident and right now they're not they're at a loss for words a loss for actions like what do i say what do i do how do i feel so you feel like this this is someone who can't think clearly can't decide and basically is in some sort of like woe is me type energy really down for some of you this is someone who could be this is not everybody either, side note, um, who could be victimizing themselves here or they have attempted this in the past. Um, I do feel like this is someone who feels I don't have the strength right now. I just don't. That's what's going on. And you see them that way. So yeah, guilt about the relationship, guilt about what was said, about promises here with you. There's the Libra energy. Yeah, someone's trying to make it up to you or they need to. That's what this reading is like screaming here. It is definitely saying that. Let me see. Wait, wait. What? What's going on? Okay, there we go. <laughs> How does this person see Libra? How does this person see Libra? I feel like you're leaving this person to their own devices to try and figure out how to make it up to you, if they're going to make it up to you. Um, it's kind of like you're you're basically like, not, that's not my problem. Yeah, see, this this Queen of Wands, and maybe this is an Aries. Yeah, Emperor energy. You could be dealing with an Aries. How does this person see Libra? Please. This feels like something is on hold right now. Again, these cards. Oh my gosh. How funny. I should have kept them then. My bad, Tarot. My bad, Spirit. Okay, four of cups. <laughs> They're like, no, these are supposed to be out. Um... How can I apologize? That's what this is. So someone here is real worried that you're just not happy. Like you're not satisfied. You don't want anything this person is offering you or it's not good enough or it's just um, a fear of theirs that anything that they say or do toward you is not going to make any difference. Okay, because this is someone who sees you as... Let me see what this is here, too. Okay, yeah, this father card energy. This, And there's that darn moon. Some of you guys, you're kind of pulling back to get this person to yield to you. And I could see that very heavily. Like, if you have an idea about what it is you guys are working toward or what you guys had planned and this person defaulted here or they pulled back or they decided to change their mind, you're kind of withdrawing to m make them realize that they're they're messing up or they, they've lost you here in some way. Like, you're not as available as, as you used to be or you once were. That's kind of put a pause on this situation here. Okay. So this is someone who sees you as kind of waiting for something to happen or you're kind of thinking about your investments here 
and the changes that need to happen. It's, it's like, okay, so when is this change happening? When are you going to do this? Or when are we going to do this? Or it's, it's like they feel like, you, or they see you as wanting action to be taken. And you're kind of wondering why it's taking so long. You're like, why is this taking so long? Why aren't we doing this? Why haven't we said this? Why haven't we changed our relationship? Or why haven't we worked toward our original goal or what we said we were doing here? Like, uh, what's going on here? That's what they're saying about you. Like you're, you're kind of fed up waiting and you don't want to compromise at this point. The Two of Cups. Yeah, someone, someone's not giving you something that they said they would or they're not doing something they said they would is kind of how it's coming off as. And like you're, you're kind of holding them to it. All right, so maybe that was the lie or you feel like someone was like kind of deceiving you in a way or um, they led you to believe that, yeah, of course I want this too. Or we're going to do this too. And it turns out that they actually want to wait or they're too up in their head about things here. And now... Now you're pulling away from them because you're like, well, you're defaulting on our agreement and that makes it null and void. So I'm not interested. And this is making them scramble like, oh, my gosh, I'm losing Libra and Libra's mad at me and all this stuff. Wow. All right. They're like, until this changes, I'm not interested. Bye. <laughs> Let me see. What do you want with this person, Libra? Let's see the truth here. What do you want with this person? What does Libra want with this Page of Swords individual? Five of Pentacles, which they are in the Five of Pentacles. Some of you guys want this person out of a house. And that's not everybody. Fool card. Interesting. I feel like we saw... Did we see this King of Cups? Hmm. No, that was the Two of Swords. interesting too so libra here's the thing okay you're very much um i feel like you like this person okay you probably have a strong connection or you have had a strong connection this is some sort of love energy that we're pulling here however this is also like i'm aware there needs to be a new beginning and that's what you're focused on this is what your answer is centered on here about what you want and it's basically like, well, if that means that this person is left behind, so be it. I'm going to have a new beginning regardless. So it's almost like you're not putting your value in someone else's hands. or You're not putting your future in this person's hands here. Okay. Because there's some kind of goal or desire that you want. Now, the thing is, this is also saying you would want this person to understand that. You maybe want some amount of clarity about this, about the way that people feel here, emotions, all this stuff. But um, I see you pretty much like releasing yourself regardless. Like you're wanting some amount of release. Let me see what else is here. You, you may want this person to realize also how they feel and how happy they were with you, how happy your situation is or was, whatever tense that is, past tense or current, yeah. So we're seeing this Nine of Pentacles again, the Fool card and the Magician again, of course. It is what it is. You're wanting to release yourself here. That's it. You're like, okay, fine. If I'm going to have to be the nine of pentacles, be more independent than I will be. That's what this is. You're happy with that here. You're happy with that decision. It's like you have the emotional security and the emotional awareness here of this situation right now. And something is just not right or it's not matching what you wanted. And I feel like you had an agreement with someone. So you're, you're pulling away and going nine of pentacles, which is basically like, I'm independent, okay? I'm a person. I'm independent from this. I don't have to be involved in this. I don't have to be treated this way. Something like that. It's like centered around your happiness. Even if that means that you're still with somebody, you're kind of finding that happiness within yourself. 
However, I see kind of like a release. Okay, so this person wants with Libra. Okay, ears ringing right there. Person wants with Libra. Also King of Cups and the Ten of Swords and the Fool card. All right. Yeah, I figured. And there you are with the Knight of Cups. Someone feels like they know that they're on the line to apologize to you or to give you something here that you want, okay? Maybe you're wanting to be more of an empress to this person. Like you wanna take things to the next step where this person said that they would or they owe you something. I get the vibe this person owes you something. I don't know what it is, but it feels like you guys had an agreement. Now this person knows that they want a new beginning with you. They're emotionally invested here. Um, you guys are both emotionally invested, or you were, like I said, but you're more so releasing, and this person's more so wanting to scratch everything that happened, come out of the Ten of Swords energy, which is like a failure, a massive disappointment, and the pain of the ending of the situation, and have a brand new beginning with you. This is someone who's saying, I know I need to apologize, I know I need to come forward, or Libra does, I just want something to be right, whatever this is, right? I want something to go right. I want I want a fresh beginning with Libra. That's what they want. Your next moves. I'm hearing like Pat Patterson. Pat Pattern. I don't know. Pattern. Okay. Libra next moves. Two of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. It better be good. I'm hearing it better be good. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, this person's next move. I'll tell you in a moment. I'm also going to pull you a two-week outcome. Nice to see a little bit further. Then we'll throw some oracle on it, see if there's any closing notes here for you. Advice, guidance, basically. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and Tower. Hey, what? All right, Shadow. Death card. Um... No, this is someone who wants to hold on to you as like a spouse, okay? They don't want to, they don't want to give this up here. All right, so I, I want to get a card right here real quick. What is this? Yeah, okay. Oh my, guilt. Someone is wanting to express guilt here, but they're very cautious about that. They're fearful to express guilt and remorse over whatever the heck that they did that kind of made you feel some type of way or whatever they maybe were dishonest about, okay? Um, or didn't honor an agreement about here is what they're wanting to talk about so that there can be a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, this is someone who feels like they have to say something, they have to come clean, or they have to be very clear and they're stressed out about that. Like this, they're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I have to talk about this. I have to say this. I have to, in order to have a breakthrough here with Libra, I need to come clean. Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah. They're wanting, I don't know. Are you guys like, is it? keeps referring to me like something about you guys having a significant relationship here. Or maybe somebody's family's involved, but it looks like something like that. Like you guys are family or you guys have family involved here somehow. Okay. So your next moves here is um it's a little bit like you're being cautious, okay? Because this is some sort of decision that you're carefully making and you're carefully weighing up here whether or not I guess it's sufficient or you're able to heal something or you're able to move forward. That's what you're looking at it as. You're like, well, let me see how this goes basically with this person because they're coming in with this opportunity with you. Yeah, Ace of, Ace of Cups. Yeah, look, Emperor, Empress. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting here. I feel like you're kind of seeing this person a little differently, um, but they're trying to turn a new leaf. 
Yeah, look, there you are. So I see that you're very cautious in the next moves here, Libra. But this is a new cycle trying to come in. I'm hearing pros and cons. Ace of Pentacles, exactly what I was thinking. Some of you guys are dropping another way of seeing things or another opportunity here to see if you can actually heal this with this person. Yeah, it's like you want this um, back and forth kind of energy to stop and you want a solid Ace of Pentacles, not two Pentacles, not two Aces, you know, just one, just one Ace. And this is what's happening. So there's a lot of breakthrough communications coming in. I feel like you're still a little bit um, cautious, is what I'm seeing, but it is happening here. Because you're this nine of wands and then you also have the seven of wands. So, yep. Let me see. There could be a decision in love happening. And I feel like it's on your part. We did see you with the two of wands as well. Yeah. This is someone really wanting to put themselves out here and out there with you and putting themselves on the line to be seen and heard about some kind of embarrassing stuff is what it looks between you and this person in the next two weeks. All right, yeah, see, see this 10 of pentacles, it's very prominent here. Okay, this could be about marriage, um, family, renewal, like you guys are able to renew this here. That's what's coming in in the next two weeks, five of pentacles, that's that person. Someone doesn't want anything else here. This this person here. They don't want anything else than this relationship. I feel like this could be a topic of concern here. All right, next two weeks between you and this person. Those just came out, so let's just take it. This is like, I want family or I want longevity. I don't want playfulness or dating or friends. It's something like that. There it is again. I am seeing that Ace of Cups right here. So this Five of Pentacles is this person with this Ace of Cups justice. There you are, Six of Pentacles. Making something fair and balanced here in two of these cards, the Ten of Cups. Yep, remorse, sadness, I'm sorry I left, or I'm sorry I left this behind, I abandoned you, or I made you feel some type of way, I made you feel left out, like I didn't care, like I didn't love you. Brand new beginning, judgment energy with the lovers, okay? Wish fulfillment here for someone to have a new beginning and to come back. Yep, Knight of Swords. Chasing, pursuing, in pursuit, okay? We also have, this person's pursuing you and they're pursuing this with you. There is a healing energy trying to come in here. I see that you are able to, I don't know if you're, you're married, getting married or something like that, but there's a future investment that is leading that way or it's intending to lead that way here. Of course, all things need to be managed properly, but that's exactly what that is. It's, it's about long-term type of relationship coming in for you and that's you justice card energy with the ace of cups okay family i'm hearing morse code okay all right um I feel like you guys are trying to take something to like the next level here. All right, Libra, please. Or something new, prosperity. Yeah, okay. Homecoming. Did I say come home? I'm coming home. Was that this reading? Oh gosh, great. <laughs> it's all a blur. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, Someone's coming back home, guys. They're wanting to come back home. They feel like this is where their prosperity lies with you, you with them, whatever this is. Home is where the heart is. We also have hearth and homecoming. Yeah, someone's coming back. I feel like this could be about you guys living together, staying together, still living together or moving in together. It's something like that. For Libra. Card for Libra. So there's more growth in your situation coming in independence yep okay see that's the thing you're still really focused on your independence here 
or there's something about it that is very important, okay? It's not relying on someone else for your happiness or your moods, okay? Them too. I'm just saying in general, not you specifically. Yeah. You know how sometimes people are like, you make me feel, you made me feel this, you made me feel that. While it may be true that someone did something that made someone feel a, a certain way, the thing is people are needing to take responsibility for the way that they f themselves feel because no one actually makes you anything. You see what I'm saying? Okay. It's like, if you allow someone to affect you, then they do. There's a difference. And I feel like that's kind of what this focus is about. It's like, I need to cultivate my own self-awareness. Be aware of how I feel, how I allow people to make me feel, how I allow people to treat me and find that security within the self. That's what this is saying to me. Minad and supernatural. This is um, a revelation coming in. You do have free will energy. Okay, again, some more free will. Okay, we're talking about being independent, sovereignty, independence, and free spirit. So you are a free spirit here. Okay, I'm hearing free agent. Okay, sure. There's something that is very important about you being aware of your independence and yourself here. So keep that in mind, Libra. It's a major focus. This is important for you specifically. Um, not putting your value in someone else's hands. Because once you do that, then you're going to not feel very valuable. And I'm not saying that you're doing that, but I feel like this is somehow coming out. So you're becoming stronger right now. Um, we've all done that in the past, by the way. So we have supernatural inexplicable, miraculous, and otherworldly. Kind of like a haunting energy here, right? But we also have Minad, madness, ecstatic ritual, and energy release. And I feel like this is secrets coming out. Um, expressions, everything that was suppressed here. Someone is trying to take accountability. So I'm, I'm being drawn to say this for some reason. In relationships, there are two whole people that come together not a half and a half to make one, right? Okay. All right. Because you got to put your mask on before you put on someone else's. I'm referring to airplanes. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. All right. So Libra, please. What is what? Oh, no. Possibilities here. Okay. So possibilities are limitless. You have more than one possibility coming in. Mary Magdalene popping out as your main card. Mistress of the Labyrinth. Okay, I feel like this has to do with mysteries. My soul knows the way. The only way out is through. I feel like this is you solving a puzzle. You kind of got this, the puzzle solved here, okay? Everything is coming to light where it has. And there's something about this that's making you feel more strong within yourself about that. Okay? You're like, oh, dang. I'm the, you know what, I'm the S-H-I-T, or I'm, I'm that hot stuff, I'm that hot mama, or papa, whatever the heck you are. Um, but this is like having trust and faith in a situation that sometimes feels like you don't know what to expect next, okay? You're finding your way out of that dizzying, puzzling energy, and that's what we're talking about, some sort of revelations here. Okay, so this is your main card. The Apostles to the Apostles. I am the bridge between heaven and earth. I'm fully human and fully divine. Connecting to your power. Look at that. Love you all so very much, Libra. Feel free to check your other placements. Friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, peep and Tom, peep and Tony, Dollar Street, check their placements too. So we know what they're up to. Kisses, I love you. Love you so much, guys. Bye.